Let's look at previous versions of IIS. Let's start with Windows 2000, which came with IIS 5. Now, the version of IIS is always tied to the version of the operating system. IIS 5 came installed on Windows 2000 server by default. This became a problem when Code Red was released, which was, a, which was an IIS worm. And we found that not only would our web servers get hit, but other servers that were installed with IIS by default would also get hit by this worm. IIS 5 also came with a bunch of handy uh, scripts and like an IIS admin site and IIS samples. And there was a page inside of the IIS samples directory that actually was what allowed Code Red to attack the machine. So then in Windows 2003, we had IIS 6. And as you can see in my screenshot here, this is the default out of the box configuration. IIS was not installed um, unless you explicitly decided to install it. So that helped a lot with with security issues because only the boxes that were that needed IIS would actually get IIS installed as opposed to only the boxes that someone would purposely remove IIS. And going beyond that, you'd have to explicitly say which types of pages you wanted to allow to run. So if you wanted ASP.NET one, version 1.1 pages to run, you'd have to go in into the IIS manager and explicitly say you wanted to allow that to run. Or if you wanted active server pages to run or web dev or, or whatever the case may be. And so this helped us to avoid security issues because we would explicitly, we'd have to explicitly define what was allowed to run on that box. Windows 2008 and IIS 7, or in Windows 2008 R2 IIS 7.5, expanded on this concept by breaking out what IIS, um, what components in IIS are installed. So you don't just choose to install IIS, you choose to install, you know, the ability to run static content or ASP.NET, or you, you choose to install you know, the HTTP logging tools or um, the ability to do Windows authentication or basic authentication. So each of these uh, specific attributes of IIS are broken out and you choose which bits you actually want to have installed. This is great because if a, a security vulnerability came out and let's say the ASP runtime engine and you don't even have the ASP runtime engine installed on your box, that security vulnerability can't affect you in any way. Another great thing about the modularity of IIS 7.5 is that while these components are the ones that came off the CD and, and are in the box, um, Microsoft as well as third parties are releasing additional extensions largely through the IIS.NET website that provide additional functionality and those extensions have the exact same um, place in the hierarchy as these ones you see in, in the default screenshot here.